Reciprocating compressors require both a suction valve and a discharge valve for each cylinder. The valves give the compressor its ability to pump refrigerant vapor against a pressure difference. The valves are usually located in the head of the cylinder, in passages that are connected to the high or low pressure side of the system. Now, let's follow the compression process in a single cylinder reciprocating compressor during one complete revolution of the crankshaft. Starting with the piston at the top of its stroke, or at top dead center, the piston begins to move downward as the crankshaft rotates. Because both valves are closed at this time, the downward moving piston reduces the pressure in the cylinder. As soon as the pressure in the cylinder falls below the low side pressure in the suction line, the pressure difference will open the suction valve, letting refrigerant vapor into the cylinder. The piston continues down, pulling in more vapor until the cylinder is filled with low pressure vapor at the bottom of its stroke. Once past bottom dead center, the piston begins its upward stroke. The suction valve closes as the upstroke begins. As the piston moves up, it reduces the volume of vapor space in the cylinder. This action increases the pressure of the vapor trapped in the cylinder. When the pressure in the cylinder becomes higher than the high side pressure in the discharge line, the pressure difference pushes the discharge valve open, letting the compressed vapor flow out of the cylinder. This continues until the piston reaches the top of its stroke and most of the compressed vapor has been expelled into the discharge line. When the piston begins its downward stroke, the discharge valve closes. The complete cycle repeats during each revolution of the crankshaft.